I know game got that was the wrong name, wasn't it? Okay. Let's grab ourselves a spear tuna and then head on back. I brought only normal ones, so <laughs> it's a good thing we're just here for the spear tuna. I don't know, Uchi, they just keep telling me they're not ready yet. Who wants coffee? I just made a fresh pot of coffee. Does anybody want coffee? That right there is a spear tuna. We actually have a nice coffee right now. Nice. I had some hot coffee not long ago. Gonna go into lurking. All right, enjoy Digit Artist. Cheers. That is the easiest fishing trip I've ever had in any of the games. <laughs> Just walked up, chucked the lure in once, got the fish we needed, peace. <laughs> okay. Whoops. Let's turn it. Okay, so we've got those two pieces. We could have made Shell Studded, which has normal and Pierce. Let's go ahead and make it, just in case. And we can swap that out for what, the Waste? Yeah, we could swap that out for the Waste if we wanted to, which is good because I hate this Waste with a burning passion. God, I hate that Waste so much. Mm, I really hate that Waste. Okay, so starting off, that's normal wrap it up three, which is pretty good start, as well as some pierce up, which is nice. How do you unlist things from the wish list? You go into the wish list, and then you can go ahead and hit X for delete content, or you can make them, and they'll get removed automatically. All right, what's next? Probably attack up four. So we'll want so we'll want probably one point of evade extender, which I don't have on a charm yet. So let's look at the Vadex real quick. It's on Tritronodon. Oh, that's a really high value piece then. We could use that instead of the the uh, shell studded one if we wanted evade if we wanted evade extender, but didn't mind losing the pierce up. Or we could run Roggy Helm as per the usual. That leaves us open to run Baggy Waste and the Ingot Greaves, I think. So we can go ahead and swap Baroth Coil out for what? Baggy? Yeah, I think Baggy is what we want. So that has Attack Boost 2. And then we'll go ahead and swap the Bizarro Greaves out for Ingot? So attack boost four, normal wrap it up, crit eye two, load shells one. What does load shells do for bow guns? Increases ammo and coating reloading speed. That's nice. Well, I guess we'll, we'll, I think we have a load shells charm. So we can go ahead and chuck that on. Maybe that's what's on right now. Oh, that's what's on right now. Okay. I think I'll go ahead and swap that out for Wirebug Whisperer. And let's see what else we can jump in. I don't need the geology decoration. Or the grinder decoration. I guess what we can do is we can go ahead and gem in wire bug. And then we'll go ahead and gem in a bunch of fire attacks so that we boost our fire shot quite a bit. And I don't know what else we can do right now. 
We're a little bit limited by what decorations we can make at the moment. Fire attack 5, attack boost 4, normal wrap it up 3, wire bug whisper, crit eye, sleep res, pierce up, rapid fire up, and evade extender. That's not bad. I'm happier with this set than I was with the other one. We can save this, I think. Let's go ahead and take a look at what layered armor we could we could do for it. See what the set looks like without any. Oh, that's real. <laughs> that's really special. You're into this, Uchi? Naked cowboy like in New York. It really does look like that. All right, we'll do one quest with it like this and I'll probably make something that's a little bit less garish. Return of the Pied Piper fella? No, not quite. That that set was something too, if I'm remembering correctly. We had a set in Fort Ultimate that made us look kind of like a little Pied Piper. We had a special little feather in our cap. And it was a heavy bowgun set. It was a goofy bowgun set in Fort Ultimate. Let me see if we can change the color of the, the layered armor. Can we? Oh yeah, we can. Can we make it look skin toned though? Not really. Not yet anyways. Later on in the game, I'm sure we'll unlock the ability to make it look skin toned. Just not yet. Okay. Now let's go ahead and get some ammo going on. Can't say he's not going along with it. I'm definitely going along with it. This gunfire is so many cool things. for in this game used to make spread ammo gotcha so hotberries must be shrapnel ammo yeah yeah okay that makes sense that one was free night wasn't it the one you remember was from free night yes it was blongo clothes and an eagle hat maybe you're right I guess the memories blur together in my head sorry folks Thought the armor set was in free minute. You guys will probably remember better than me, honestly. I have a pretty poor memory for a lot of things. That's apparently one of them. Sorry. Played a lot of Monster Hunter. <laughs> Might just be tradition with heavy bowgun. What, having like a scantily clad set? Sort of. Sort of scantily clad? Scant scantilier clad? What is Sonic Wave? Uh, I'm not sure exactly what it does in this game. Someone else will have to explain that to you. I think in this game, it does a little Sonic Wave, but it might also like give you a 
defense for one hit? There's something weird with that. There's like a weird shield song. I don't really understand how it works. With all that prep out of the way, let's go ahead and hunt our first berry off here. Sonic Wave adds an extra little damage on your recital when it's played. Sonic Barrier gives you hyper armor for a very short duration. Thank you, Siphonia. There we go. I appreciate it, because I haven't I haven't really paid attention to that all the different hunting horn songs that there are yet in this game. There you go, Miyabi. Siphonia's got you covered. We're gonna start by breaking the wings. It doesn't really tell you how much your fire is going to do, but I'm assuming that the fire attack level 5 should help us out. Bear us out in the middle, so it doesn't really matter how we roll out to get there. I like going over here for some buffs. And some nice frame drops. Holy armor skills. And we don't even have that many decorations active yet. Set building in 5th gen is really something else. Really something else. I miss the old system. I miss the old skill system too, Ken. Gala Mantle. Hmm. Too slow to get out of the way. Woof. Alright. I don't know, Marks. Some obscene amount of time. Look up how many hours there are in a year. Dude, I looked away for a second. Good night, Crystal. This guy's fast. And he missed. Good stuff. Oh god, and that costs two. I forgot it costed two. Oh boy. Context marks over three years. I have streamed 3,000 hours. We actually just rolled over 3,000 total hours streamed recently. Oh, dude, this thing is this thing is putting Narga to shame, man. I'm sad. Oh, it's not roaring. This is a bad matchup, for me at least.
Yep, this should be interesting. It's a better matchup than you think. I'm just not I'm just not used to him freaking how fast he is. He's so fast. Okay, Paku Paku. The heavy bow gun slide is more useful than a counter? Maybe. break those wing arms. We really gotta break those wing arms. He can't keep getting away with this. Oh! <laughs> He's so fast. Don't want to sound like you're rumbling or anything, but you're exhausted. Maybe the two biggest weeks of your life, you can barely keep up. Man, yeah, no worries. Oops. Sorry, Marth. I just drew your name. <laughs> Didn't mean to. <laughs> yeah, feel free to invent about it. I'm sorry you hear that. I hope things calm down and let you chill soon. Did you just write Paco? I think you... I think you did. <laughs> Great sword right now. No, sorry. I accidentally drew your name. I, I bumped my keyboard. You picked great sword? I, you're not actually winning, Marks. I'm sorry. Hang on. I'm stuck with this gun, unfortunately. I'm gonna have to also just kind of learn how he moves around in high rank. Didn't have to pay that much attention when he was in low rank. Oh my god. Heavy bow guns roll takes so freaking long too. That's like one wrong roll and you've all of a sudden you've you've eaten a you've eaten a whole move from very on. Do I use Wyvern Snipe? I mean, when the opening allows. Sure. Oh my god, he's so freaking fast, dude! Crazy! Evade extender and evade window help heavy bugging a lot. This is one point of evade extender, and it feels like I can get away. It feels like I can almost get away in terms of distance. It's the speed. It's such a slow roll that's hard to get out of the way, and sometimes you eat damage because you're rolling into it by mistake. can't handle this right now and it just and it just screws off what's wrong with you <laughs> this is 
This is so bad. <laughs> this is awful. He's so fast. Imagine getting mad at something for leaving you alone. I guess I was just asking him to leave me alone. Oh man, this thing's way s so fast, dude. I just feel way too slow getting out of the way. Like, I feel like I would need shield and some guard to really feel comfortable with this matchup. Because it feels like maybe unless you, I mean, maybe if you max a Vedic Center and you're just flying around the map, then you could get out of the way a little quicker. It just feels like the stupid, dumpy slow roll is too slow for this fight. I need to also be careful when I'm reloading. Use your bug slide. It's also pretty slow to come out, Jay Novice. You also need to like, you need to basically be able to know when Baryat's gonna jump if you're gonna use it. And I'm not to that point with this guy. I have no idea how he how he <laughs> how he moves around. It takes a minute to come out here. I'll show you. Like when you press R and A, I mean it starts you moving, but you gotta really know you gotta know when he's about to pounce on you. Okay, finally, there we go. There it is. Evade window three makes the roll feel a lot better. It's not about rolling through things, it's about getting out of the way. We've gotten the arms broken. Should make things a little easier on us. But man, he is crazy with those arms still up. You're all Gaduchi. No worries, Paco. Thanks for thanks for hanging out here. Oh, I thought he was gonna roar, he didn't roar. I also need to be using my side hops a little more. I'm having a hard time doing that. Good to know that he's going to do the dive after that a lot of the time. I probably could have inferred that from lower. Any deck. Thanks for the follow. Welcome. Hope you're doing well tonight. I hope you're enjoying me learning how to deal with something this fast with Happy Boba.
Thing's massive. It is pretty big, yeah. That pounce. We gotta be pretty careful with our health now. size it is yeah keep in mind part of it's just the camera angle that we're at right now the camera angle we're at right now when we scope in makes him look super huge because he's up above us he was kind of always this large around the player or at least pretty close to it i feel like That was cool, he almost juggled you, yeah, it was pretty close. A lot of monsters can juggle in this game, I like that personally. I brought something with fire shot. Rolled too early there, I think. That's really hard to get out of the way of with Heavy Bowgun. I guess you could probably delay that second roll there so you're not spamming. You can click sheath after that move. Oof! Sheath already! Goodness!
What is that you're doing to dodge him? There's a counter that you can activate by using two of the wire bugs. You can also zip out of the way. You saw me use both of them in the last couple minutes there. Sometimes I would block it and fire a shot back at him as a counter. Other times I would just zip out of the way there. Stressful. Nice. Two burial spikes. You don't say. You do know that normal three is strictly stronger than normal two in rise? I had not heard that personally, no. Not a very great living snipe there. Can you be banned for hacking in this game? There isn't a lot you can do to hack in Monster Hunter, honestly. I mean, if with a hack switch, I'm sure you can do some weird stuff, but no, it's a PvE game for the most part. I don't think there's anybody who's out there from Capcom looking to ban you. If anything, you would probably just get banned from Nintendo if you were playing on a hack switch and like hacking and playing multiplayer, as far as I know. Yeah, there's no ricochet. The ammo changes are weird. There's no ricochet. It's just stronger. Interesting. Well, I can't fire it while walking, so it probably isn't a good choice for this matchup. Gosh. Not a good time to ask, Marks. I can't even think straight about that question right now. Get me out of here. <laughs> oh, 
That was a whole monk of snail kind of fight. Thanks, Jay-Z, Karen. That was tough. I want you to get a lot better at that matchup. We got a little better as the fight wore on, but when you're already playing with limited po like more limited potions because you guzzled them all down, getting chipped by him, and you're already on your third cart, it's very scary. Gotta run it back sometime. Pay a gem? Yeah. Let me read the item descriptions for those. Should have done the same thing with Somnicanth. 